Hi guys, in this video we're going to get into some of the physics of sound. We're going to talk about sound being energy and then a little bit of anatomy of a sound wave. Uh, so sound is energy and it's produced by vibrating objects. As the object vibrates, uh, the medium around it is disturbed and we create a wave. Now you see here a tuning fork. The tuning fork moves in and moves out uh, and vibrates in that way. As the tuning fork moves in, it creates this around it uh, where there aren't very many air particles and we call this a rare fraction. And then when it moves out, it sort of squishes these air particles together uh, and we call this a compression. So as it moves in and out over time, these air particles form a wave between the compressions and the rarefractions. Uh, and here are these compressions and rarefractions in another form here. Uh, and this forms the wave uh, by compressing and expanding these particles. Now if we are to put these, so here we've got our rarefraction and our compression. So if we were to graph this about uh, how much air pressure was there at the time. At the compression, there'd be a high amount of air pressure, and at the rare fraction, there'd be a low amount of air pressure. Um, so that's how we get from our uh, compression and rare fractions uh, into this sort of wave here. Uh, so we have our compressions at the peaks and rare fractions at the troughs. Okay, so uh, the speed of the vibration of the object uh, works out the distance between these uh, refractions and compressions, or the frequency, and the amount of energy uh, tells us how high this wave is going to be, which is the amplitude or the volume. A little bit more on those. Um, so frequency is how many waves pass through a point in a certain time, and that's measured in hertz, being um, one hertz is one wave per second. Um, now, the speed of uh, sound traveling through air doesn't change. So as the uh, object vibrates faster, the wavelengths get closer together. Uh, and because the speed is always the same, that means that the uh, low frequency uh, is from the low speed of vibration and the high frequency is from the high speed of vibration. Now, that high frequency uh, for sound is going to cause a high-pitched noise, and the low frequency is going to cause a low-pitched noise. Uh, now, the other thing we have is the amplitude, or when we're talking about sound, we usually say volume, and that's how much energy the wave has. The more or the harder that that object vibrates, uh, the harder the medium is disturbed and the more energy the wave will have. So we've got our low energy wave here will be a fairly soft, sound, while our high energy wave will be a fairly loud sound. And you'll notice that the wavelength, or the distance from uh, crest to crest, is the same in both of these, so the pitch isn't going to change here, only the amplitude or volume. In this video, we've looked at sound as being a form of energy that needs to travel through a medium, and we've talked about sound waves having uh, that can change in frequency or pitch as well as amplitude or volume. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.